do you see here hi guys and gals well this is part of the uh, vlogmas series so uh, I'm going to talk about uh, books that I had as as a kid and I still have I have loads of them still you know the kids books I had talked one time about I had all the black stallion ones but I won't be talking about those the black stallion came on later uh, that's when I discovered actually the uh, where, where I lived it was a town called Sutton it was a bilingual town on in the eastern townships and uh, we had a library there in the uh, it was in the town hall and the library had an English and French section and the English section was really really good it had a lot of older books and there was like the Black Stallion by Walter Farley and all most of the series and so I, I, I would read those I mean some I'd read like five or six times probably and uh, yeah but so I said I was going to talk about it and I finally did but and so I have them all in back here somewhere but so a few books I wanted to show was one these comes from my uh, grandparents home they probably had that I don't know if it was my parents my mom would have had it or let me see is there a year somewhere in this it's one of they call these the little big books and uh, yeah it's it's from the 40s actually 1949 1950 and so this probably was my cousins because I have cousins that were born like around in those years although it could have been you know for my uncle I had an uncle who was slightly younger than my mom so you know but it comes from that house of so my grandparents there was this one that was called the giant adventure book and these were actually really really stories that you would read you know so there was it was adventure books and adventure stories and uh, stuff like that so it was really a lot of fun actually kind of got us into into reading my brother and myself mostly a book that one of my aunts gave me so my aunt Jean and my aunt Jean was uh, uh, she had two girls and uh, they went actually to English speaking school and when we were kids we went to the French speaking school but she would give me uh, English books and this was probably I think this was actually my first that or Tom Sawyer it might have been Tom Sawyer which I have him back there somewhere and this was either the first or the second one that I had this is from this is the Troy Nesbitt series so the Troy Nesbitt series are always like this one was around I guess around the Grand Canyon or one of the canyons and then you can see the, these ones they were always stories like you know the mystery at Rustler's Fort and the Indian Moment Mystery. This was a fantastic book. I still love reading it, actually. And it, it, it's these are you know family books. Anybody can read them at any time, but they were made for kids. They really were. So you know, really, I mean, I I treasure these books very much. So now these ones here, I just pulled some out. A really old classic. So the Treasure Island. Now, what you have to see is like the other ones are not abridged, but these were abridged. So they were made for easy reading for kids that were learning how to read. Like I said, the other ones actually weren't because they were already made for kids, but these were like literature that was made for the kids. And it was really great. I mean, then after I later on in life, I read, you know, the real thing. And then there was books like these. You know, the Bobsy Twins. So which one is this? This is the Bobsy Twins in the country. And the Bobsy Twins at the seashore. I mean, these are old books. These are old. Uh, they're probably also from the 50s, I'd say. Oh, goodness, it's kind of sticky here. Let me see. Um, yeah, 1950. Yep, 1950. Albeit, these here, I know, I'm just realizing, these two came from a stash when we went on a vacation to one of my cousins, so my dad had some English-speaking cousins, on in North Troy or something like that, uh, in the States, and they had a big box with all type of books, and these were in there, I think, and because we had, you know, we just basically, they gave them to my mom 
for us and you know they you know like when people get rid of their of their stuff you know and give it away to family but that's great because actually that's things like that that really got me into reading and reading about things and I mean you can see behind me this is just like part of the books and I have so many now in my in my Kindle library as well because we were just running out of place I mean you got books here books downstairs books everywhere and at one point Mrs. DC said stop and I did so I don't know in my Kindle library there's a few hundred books as well but uh, whatever you know it's uh, it, it's a uh, as you know it's a great pastime uh, and another thing about the Kindle now that I'm in my 60s is that you know I can make it a little bit bigger so that's kind of cool as well so yeah that will be my uh, one of my vlogmas contributions uh, type of books that I read as a kid what got me into reading and so on okay so that will be DC signing off take care everybody and uh, we'll just keep, see how this vlogmas keeps going take care bye bye